Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela Garcia and I'm a fashion photographer. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to edit your pictures on your phone and this time the video will be focused on editing pictures that we're taking with your phone and not with a professional camera. As you know these pictures are usually pretty simple and even though the quality of the camera in the phone are improving every day more they don't get close to the quality of a professional camera. So in this tutorial you will learn to give them a special touch. You know, when you're traveling and you're with your family, your friends, your girlfriend, or even taking pictures of yourself, you want to upload something really nice. And I hope these colors are perfect for you. With this video, I'm releasing a new preset pack of 10 lighting presets that are specially designed to edit pictures taken with your phone. And I'm going to include as a gift the preset that I'm building in this tutorial. So here you can see the before and after of every single preset that it's included in the preset pack. And as you can see, these colors give them a very, very special touch. These pictures were taken with an iPhone 11 and they are very, very nice. I just wanted to give them something even more special. That's it guys, let's get to business. First of all, you'll have to download Lightroom Mobile to your phone. You can get a free version and in my opinion it's really great or you can pay and unblock very special settings that are also very useful. In this case I'm going to use the free version of Lightroom so everybody can use it. So after downloading the app, you just go to your gallery and export the pictures. Here is my gallery and here I have some pictures that I want to edit. So here I'm just going to select all these pictures and I'm going to open directly on Lightroom. Perfect. I will choose this option of initiating Lightroom right now. As you can see here I have my pictures and I will use this one as an example. Here is before editing and here I have the DNG file where I can see the before and after. Let me show you. Before and after. Great. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to work with exposure and it's over here in this little symbol of sun. And exposure, I want to take it a little bit high, 9 is okay. Contrast, I will take it a little bit down to minus 6. Highlights and whites, I want to take them down. So highlights, we go to minus 55, let's say. And white to minus 64 is okay. Shadows, I will bring them up and blacks, I will take them down. So here minus 24, blacks minus 29. Here we already have a little change. Next, we're going to work with the colors. So here in this little, I don't know what it is, <laughs> in this little tool, it will work with the colors. Temperature, we will leave it as it is, also the tint and by brands and saturation I'm going to take them to minus 5 both of them minus 5 minus 5 great now we're going to work with the tone curve that is one of the most important subjects in this preset so we go up here to the Sun again up here we have curve and we are going to make five dots so we have two in the corners and now we need three in the middle first one goes a little bit up second a little bit down, third a little bit down, fourth a little bit down and the last one also a little bit down. I think that's okay for now. Let's take a look. I, that's great, I love it. For RGB I'm going to leave them as they are. I'm just going to move the main curve. Now let's go back again to the colors. I'm going to this little circle over here and we are going to work each color separately. So let's start with the red. For red, I'm going to move the hue up to 10, saturation up to 10 again, and luminance, I'm going to bring it up to 50. 
for orange I'm going to take the hue to minus 10 saturation a little bit up let's take it up to 5 and luminance let's take it up also to 46 perfect in yellow we are going to take the hue to minus 33 saturation minus 16 and luminance let's take it a little bit up to 4 now we go ahead and continue with green i'm going to leave the hue as it is i'm going to take the saturation down to minus 23 is okay luminance i'm going to take it up to 12 13 is also okay now we go to aqua and over here uh, this i'm going to leave the hue as it is saturation i'm going to take it down to minus 80 and luminance i'm going to take it up to 10. For blue, I'm going to leave the tone in minus 13, saturation minus 29, and luminance, let's take it up, up to 25. Perfect. Now let's continue with purple and magenta. For purple, I'm going to take the tone down, minus 48, saturation, let's take it down. Magenta, I'm going to take the tone to minus 30. 35 is also okay. Saturation, I'm going to take it down. Minus 40 is okay. And luminance, I'm going to take it up to 40. 39 is okay too. Now we go out from this and we go up to here. And we have these chromatic circles where we can affect the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So for the shadows, I want to take it. A little bit up to the reds as you can see don't go too far because you will get <laughs> a really big change unless you want that but I guess just coming out a little bit from the circle let's say something like this is okay and I want it a little bit on the red and the orange as you can see here this is affecting my shadows and over here I can affect the luminance so I'm going to take it a little bit down. Let's take it to minus 10. Perfect. Let's go to the midtones. Okay, not this one. <laughs> Let's go to the midtones. For the midtones, also I'm going a little bit up. I will try not to go out from the little dot in the center. And I want this tone a little bit up between the green and the yellow. Something like this is great. Also on the luminance, I want to take it a little bit down. Minus 11 is okay. And for the highlights, I want also to move a little bit the circle. Great. And I will take it over here to the blue. Perfect. Let's see a little bit the difference before and after. Now that we'll finish with the colors, we are going to go over here to work with the texture, the clarity and the dehaze. Texture, I want to take it a little bit down to minus five. Clarity, a little bit down to minus nine. And dehaze, I'm going to take it just a little bit down to minus three. And over here down, we have the grain. Rain is something that I really like in pictures, also for my work and also for my personal pictures. I feel it give it like a very very like vintage tone so i'm going to take the amount to 21 the size up to 25 the roughness i'm going to take it up to 31 perfect now as you can see we are missing a little bit of color so i'm going to go up here to the color and i want to get more intensity i'm going to take it to 15 saturation i also want to take it a little bit up to plus 10 and over here i want to take the exposure a little bit down to minus 19. so now that we've finished let's take a look to the before and after i'm very very happy with the result so guys i want to show you how i upload it in other pictures here to the corner copy adjustments perfect and then let's go back and select a picture let's see this one from the same day 
I really like it. I just want to take a little bit up the exposure. I feel here it's like too much. Yes, perfect. Let's take a look to another picture. For example, this one. Paste adjustments. Great. Exactly the same. Let's take a little bit up the exposure and let's take a look at the before and after. As you can see, it's a very, very natural editing. It just improves your picture. For example, in this case, what will I do? In this case, I will go to make it a little bit better because the picture and the environment are different to the curve and I want to get a little bit more contrast. So this second dot, I'm going to take it a little bit down. You see how it was before a little bit here and now I take it a little bit down. Done. Perfect. Now let's apply to another one. Let's try this one. Great, I love it. This one looks really great. I feel the saturation in the oranges is too much for this picture. So I'm going to go over here, maybe take down saturation a little bit. And I think it's perfect. Amazing. Now let's apply it, for example, for, to a picture like this. Okay, here I will also take the exposure a little bit up. Here I would like to have more texture, more clarity. Also over here I'm going to take it a little bit up. Because it's a traveling picture, so these pictures can have like more intensity before and after. Perfect. As you can see, this preset is very useful for all kinds of environments. You just need to make some adjustments to make it look amazing on each one of the pictures. Because, you know, depending on the hour of the day, if you're indoor or outdoors, it changes the result of the preset. For example, here, also the same. I'm just going to take the exposure a little bit up and maybe highlights a little bit more down. And that's it. Look before and after and feels so natural and so fresh I love it let's do one more picture I will go to this one also traveling picture great colors I'm just going to take luminance high shadows a little bit up and exposure also a little bit up let's say 50 is great let's take a look before and after amazing so that's it for today guys i really hope that you enjoy it, that you learn how to use this app on your phone so you can get the best out of your pictures and how to make them look more special so if you have any question please comment down below and i will answer please don't be shy i'm here to help you and to learn and to grow together so don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it of course and that's it guys see you next time